an organization which has been at the forefront, unapologetically at the forefront of the Ram Temple movement, is obviously mm -hmm. giving out the invites. And those who they believe, according, you know, according to their assessment, subscribe to our sentiments, subscribe to our civilizational values, are being given the cards, invites. Mm -hmm. You know, the invite was also given to Akhilesh Yadav. He does not want to go because obviously there is some amount of guilt for the murders that they carried out of Kar Sevaks 30, 32 years ago in 1990. So the invites have been sent, you know, by the trust to, mm. to everybody of consequence. But it is mm -hmm. clearly up to them, you know, those who believe that India's history started in 1191 with the invasion of Ghori, obviously will have no respect for the civilization, okay, okay. which is what they're doing by okay, creating yeah, yeah. alibis, by, by the chicanery of, Tween, of uh, bowing out of it. You know, Tween, before, before I get Sanjay Jain, I just want to play what the Shankaracharyas have said. Two of the Shankaracharyas, not all of them, two of them, from, uh, 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 have said that they feel that they have not got their pride of place. Listen into what they said. So, you will not go, there is no reason for that. And there is no reason for that. 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 I am Dharma Chayar Ke Pad Par. Pai Patel Ki Pratima Ki Pratishtha and Ram Ji Ke Pratima Ki Pratishtha Me Akas Patal Kantar. There is no reason for that. 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 जो ये चर्चा चल रही है महाराज जी की कहीं ना कहीं एक नाराजगी भी है आपकी नाराजगी है तो क्या नाराज किसी पे होते हैं यहाँ सदा प्रसन्न रहते हैं साथ वाले जानते हैं सिद्धांत का पक्षधर हम हैं सिद्धांत का प्रतिपादन करते हैं नाराज जो होगा सुनो आग जहाँ पैदा होती है उसी को जलाती हुई दिल्ली घिसोगी आग पैदा होगी लेकिन दिल्ली के मुख को जलाती हुई अगर कोई नाराज होता है तो अपने हृदय को ही जलाता हुआ you want to respond to that Twin Sina? It's not as if it, all the Hindu Samaj is fully behind. Uh, there, are, there are divisions. And those divisions are amongst those who feel that this need not become a political spectacle. Make it a spiritual religious day only. Rajdeep, there are unhappy people everywhere. They don't re necessarily represent a Hindu community. The fact is Hindu community is so vast that today the movement is not restricted to politicians. It is not restricted to any organization. It has become a people's movement. You go to residential societies. People are mm -hmm. voluntarily organizing on their own ways to celebrate the day, to observe the occasion. There are places where schools are, you know, uh, being closed on that day. And of all people, see... You know, the uh, DK Siv Kumar in Karnataka says that every temple in Karnataka will be playing it live on television. So which Congress uh, are you referring to? You give me an occasion of a Shankaracharya, but DK Siv Kumar in Karnataka wants that to be played out, uh, the event to be played out in every temple. That, that, that's a so good point. You know, you know Sanjay Jha, Sanjay Jha the divisions come out. No, I, I, I take your point. The, the, the divisions come out in the open because there are Congress leaders who are saying that the Ram Mandir is associated with their Asta. We've heard of the likes of Digvijay Singh, who reportedly wanted the Congress to accept the invite. Uh, you've got the likes of D.K. Shiv Kumar, who are planning to organize the, uh, uh, to celebrate the day uh, in, uh, in temples across Karnataka. So it seems that even within the Congress, there are sharp divisions. Uh, Razdeep, here, is, uh, here are two points, and I'll answer your question. You know, I heard Tuhin Sinha use the word civilization several times. Ye log sanskar aur sanskriti pa pravachan aur bhaasan de rahe hain. Who should just introspect for a moment at the shame of the Bharati Ajanta Party on the Bilkis Banu verdict. Kya ye sanatan dharma hai? Where you did what you did to that woman in 2002 and continue to do that till the Supreme Court verdict in 2024. I don't think he'll have any answer to that. The reason is very simple, Razdeep. For the BJP, you know, we keep talking minority appeasement, but the basic math is what we don't do. If 80% of the Indian population which votes is Hindu, 14% mm -hmm. is Muslims and balance 6% is other communities, which political party is so myopic or preposterous is thinking that it will only focus on 14% minority appeasement? The Congress, by the way, has won 10 of the 17 general elections, been 60 years in Delhi on the backing of just Muslim votes. I mean, the Congress in Karnataka or Himachal Pradesh, truth, which are... But the truth, Sanjay Jha, but the truth, Sanjay Jha, is, 
no, no, one minute. But the truth, Sanjay Jha, is over the last 50 years, stretching back to the 1980s and Rajiv Gandhi's tenure, you saw the Congress at times pandering to both Muslim fundamentalists and Hindu fundamentalists. The gates of the Babri Masjid were opened in February 86. Rajiv Gandhi was Prime Minister. The uh, Shilanyas was done in 1989. Rajiv Gandhi was Prime Minister. The Babri Masjid was demolished. Narsimha Rao was the Prime Minister of the country. You've got... The Congress in the past, so uh, Indira Gandhi inaugurated a Bharat Mata Mandir of the Vishwa Hindu Parishad in 1983. So the Congress, right. it, it's its own type of temple politics. When it suits it, it wants to play temple politics. Rahul Gandhi becomes a Janyudhari Hindu or becomes a Shiv Bhakt or Kamal Nath becomes a Hanuman Bhakt. And suddenly now you say this is a political spectacle being carried out by the BJP. No, Razdeep, I'll agree with you. In fact, my recommendation to the Congress party internally has been very straightforward. We are a secular party, but we got to also accept the reality that India is a traditional conservative country when it comes to religion. And the majority community in India is the Hindus that I belong to and I think you belong to and Tuhin belongs to. And there is nothing wrong in accepting that fact that the majority faith is very happy with the Ram Temple. The issue in terms of the politics for the Congress should have been that we welcome the Ram Temple. It's a Supreme Court verdict. It's not a BGP manifesto. It's a Supreme Court verdict. And number two, to also warn the people of India that if a political party uses religion in politics, uses a mm -hmm. sacred occasion of celebrating Bhagwan Ram to make him into some kind of an electoral asset for the BJP, you go and criticize them till the cows come home. Both can be done. The problem with the Congress is that it does not take a very categorical and a bold stance. It is never either or, both in three... No, but to be fair, to be fair Sanjay Jha, for once, there will be those who will say that the Congress, which has prevaricated on the issue of, uh, of Mandir politics, is taking a stand. They are clearly saying that they stand with the emotions and sentiments of millions of Hindus who worship Lord Ram, but they will not right. be part of what they are claiming has become a BJP RSS event. You see, the, for the but Congress, Ram they were caught between a rock and a hard place. If they don't attend, they are anti-Hindu. If they attend, you'll say they're part of just some supporting caste, and Mr. Modi is the star figure. And let's be clear, Mr. Modi is the Prime Minister of the country, so he will be Absolutely. the focus. Absolutely, and this is the point, Razdeep. The Congress is a centrist party, right? It's a big tent party. And if you want to be a centrist party, which I think is what India needs, it's a tough job. You've got to navigate your politics. You've got to navigate your ideology. You've got to also know how to handle your communication. You know what I'm worried about? Rahul's Bharat Joro Naya Yatra, which I think is an excellent step. At every corner, every day, he will be questioned on where the Congress stands on the Ram Temple issue. And the idea was to actually move beyond that and actually corner the BJP on the fundamental challenges where the party has been a disaster, whether it's unemployment, mm -hmm. whether it's food inflation, whether it's the death of democracy, sectarian mm -hmm. hate, polarization, abuse of agencies. It's a laundry list of issues on which okay. the BJP can be defeated. Can I, can I bring in Tuin Sina? Tuin Sina, according to Sanjay Jha and a few others, the BJP wants to use... Ra Lord Ram, or some would say misuse Ra Lord Ram as a political asset. This is not about uh, uh, Lord Ram and, and, you know, and, and Ram Lalla. This is about political supremacy in an election year. You know, Rajdeep, I really don't know which world my friend Sanjay Chha lives in nowadays because when he makes a contrived attempt to drag in the Bilko, Bilkis Bano case by that same logic, can I ask him, was it the Congress ideology which encouraged the Karikartas to butcher 3006 in Delhi? And then, you know, for the Prime Minister, then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi to say, Jab, ek bada pe girta hai, to dharti hilti hai. was it the Congress ideology? So I don't know which, what analogy he draws. Fact is that a party which cannot support justice to Bhagwan Ram has no moral authority to take out a Nyaya Yatra. He talks about the Supreme Court judgment, but who tried, who stalled the, who tried its, his, its best to stall the judgment in the Supreme Court? It was Kapil Sibyl, who in December 2017 Wrong. wanted the decision to be postponed till 2019 because they were under this hallucination that they would be forming the government in 2019. So it was mm -hmm. continuously Congress party which was responsible for stalling a decision on, on Bhagwan Ram, on, on the birthplace of Bhagwan Ram. And today they have the gall to give us lectures on Sanatan Dharma. They were the one who you know, filed an affidavit in Supreme Court denying the existence of Bhagwan Ram. 
So I think the Congress should introspect at this time. Nyay should I'll begin uh, by uh, supporting Nyay to Bhagwan Ram for 95 years. For 95 mm -hmm. years after Babur destroyed the temple, I think, you know, it is not just a moment of joy for Hindus. It is a joy, moment of joy for the entire world. And the world is going to be celebrating with us. You, you have to wait okay, for 22nd to...